So you have forgotten both your Apple ID name and your Apple ID password. Let's try to solve that. If this video helps you, please give it a thumb up and subscribe. This is how to do it. First off, in order to reset the password in some way, we need to know what the Apple ID is. The Apple ID is always an email address. It can also be an email address you no longer use. If you don't know it, that's the first thing we got to get hold of. The two easiest way to do this is 1. Go to settings on an iOS device or a Mac computer that you are logged into. On the iOS device, meaning an iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch, tap settings. Tap your name on the top if you see it. In that case you should now be able to see an email address under your name, and that is your Apple ID. On the Mac computer, open System Preferences and click on iCloud. If you're signed in, you should be able to see your Apple ID here. The second method is to go to the webpage appleid.apple.com on any device. Click on the link Forgot Apple ID or Password. Then click on If you forgot your Apple ID, you can look it up. Enter your information and press continue. Hopefully this helps you to find out what the Apple ID is called. If it didn't, I have a whole in-depth video explaining how to find it. The link in that video is in the top right corner right now and in the video description. When you know what your Apple ID is called, you can start thinking about the password. The easiest way to reset the password is to use your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch if you have one and if you are signed in on it. If you do, go to settings. Tap your name on the top. Tap password and security. See if two-factor authentication is on. If it is, you can tap change password. Enter your passcode. If you have forgot it too, I have a video how to solve it. It's linked right now in the top right corner and in the description. Enter your new password. It will ask you if you want to sign out other devices. If you think someone have tried to steal your Apple ID and changed the password, I suggest you select sign out other devices. If you don't think anybody tries to get hold of the Apple ID, you can select Do not sign out. And now your password is changed. If that didn't work for you, you can use Find My iPhone. On iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. It can be on your device or somebody else's. Open up the app. Make sure you're signed out and that no Apple ID is typed in on the sign in screen. If you can see an Apple ID there, go ahead and erase it. Tap Forgot Apple ID or Password. Now you can enter your Apple ID and tap Next. Depending on what security type you have for your Apple ID, what you see next may vary. I am asked to enter my phone number, since I use two-factor authentication and this is my trusted phone number. Then I can reset the password with the phone number. When I tap it, I receive a text message from Apple with a verification code. I enter it, enter your passcode, and now I'm able to change the password. If you're not using two-factor authentication, you will probably have the options to answer your security questions or receive an email. Choose the one that suits you best. If you still can't reset your password, I suggest you watch my video going through all the steps you can do in order to reset the password. The link is in the top right corner right now and in the video description. If you can't access your email and if you don't know the answers for your security questions, I suggest you call Apple support. The link to where you can find the phone number for them is in the video description. So that's it for this video. If you have a question, please leave a comment. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And also follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching.